This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? But you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. Uh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. A band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. They have the same love for each other as the BBC series. In the books, they actually don't mind... They actually don't hate each other as much. Well, I don't think they hate each other at all, actually. What is one of these letters? The Strand. Oh, this is the one from the last case. I don't know what good it has here. Uh. Okay, it's keeping records of my old... Oh, the other cases. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't know what it has... Uh... This is where I keep my post. Are we leaving? Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. One week later. That was a quick week. Riddle on the roads. Riddle on the rails, actually. Damn. What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention! The train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. <laughs> I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. <laughs> but... Holmes, the headlight. It's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. 
Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. On the railway lines, that's a little dangerous, don't you think? It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. That certainly is a mystery. Very early the next morning. I don't think there's anything in my deduction. There are no clues available at the moment. Please continue the investigation. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. I prefer to be in first person mode. Because I think the, the mouse is a little bit easier to control. In my opinion, I think it's just... I think it's just easier. Um, what should we do next, Holmes? Yes, what should we do next? Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Inspect the rails where the train vanished. Okay, we'll inspect the rails then. Whoa. Evesham. Evesham? Evesham? Hmm. It was this way. Imagination talent helps you visualize objects and events useful in limit limited situations. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. Hmm. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. Interesting. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track. Nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. There's nothing more stimulating this than a case where everything goes against you. We shall require a map of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. Perhaps. Let's go. Um. This way? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing up these roads either. This is quite the mystery. Where did Watson go? Oh, sup? Um, was it this guy? This guy, I think. Sup, yo. Got anything for us? Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver, Ooh, slow mo. Oh wait, there's something up here. Fully grey hair. I'd probably say 60s. It's probably any 60s. Is this dirt? Married. The watch chain? No? Honorary badge. 
Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. Will do. See you later, my good man. Message to all stations, Mr. Robinson is located at Bridling Station. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. Train composition, here we go. Here is the train set. Locate a map of the surrounding area. It would be useful for the investigation. And we've also got the vanished train composition. Hmm. Where are we off to anyway? The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're st actually still looking for the map. That's right, we need to look for the area map there. Forgot about that. Silly me. Let's see. A telegraph. Indeed. Hmm, not, nothing special. Unless I get the map from somewhere else. This guy, maybe? Nope. Is this door open? It is open. Maybe there's a map in here. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's, let's talk to some people. Maybe someone else has a map. Can't jump. <laughs> Get out of my way, Watson. You're a nuisance as always. Ah. Uh. Oh, sorry. I can't actually go that way. Interesting. Where am I supposed to get this map then? According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. See you later, my good man. Find out what was carried. Uh. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Quite the mystery. Hmm. Certainly unusual. Hmm. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. Maybe it's... Somewhere. I need it. I'm gonna actually turn down the mouse. Uh, sensitivity. It's getting a little bit crazy. Ugh, there we go. Maybe that's better. That's a lot better. Okay. Cool. Maybe there's something in here that can tell us. A telegraph. Maybe it's in the other room. Mm. Doesn't look like it. God damn it. 